myself. <laughs> I'm actually not a brilliant not make a point. I'm actually not a brilliant driver. So I know you're not a brilliant driver. <laughs> I'm well aware of this. Adele and James Corden are saying goodbye on a bittersweet note. The music superstar joined James for the final edition of his Smash Carpool Karaoke segment this week as he prepares to exit the Late Late Show. The pair enjoyed belting some of Adele's biggest hits during their drive, of course, but they also got emotional when reflecting upon their years-long friendship and how they've helped each other during difficult times in their lives. Adele noted how James and his wife, Julia Carey, were there for her and son Angelo as she recovered from divorcing husband Simon Konecki. And she shared how important that chapter was for her to grow as a person. And it was like the 4th of January or something of 2020. We just... We... And we'd been on vacation together with the kids yeah. and we were on our way home and my mood had changed and, um, and it was like the first year that I felt like I had to hold myself accountable. Um, for just being an adult, whereas the year before that, where I like, you know, I left Simon and stuff like that, that you and Jules and the kids were so integral in looking after me and Angela and making sure that I didn't. And I remember you used to do it with humor as well. You used to be like, good luck with that one, like, you know, in any like sort of thing that I was pursuing and stuff like that. And then you were always so, you were like an, always an adult to me. James also got teary as he thanked his famous pal for supporting him during an overwhelming personal challenge. And Adele reminded him that she even wrote a song in his honor. And I remember I said to you on the way home, I said, what's wrong? I was like, you, was, you just seemed down and you let it all out to me and you just, you didn't feel stronger. And we were having, like, what, a six hour conversation about it? It was like the whole way home. It was work stuff and the yeah. internet and, and it was, all those things. But then it, have, it got me thinking, I, I felt so unsafe with you feeling unsafe because you've always been like that. You have for like, since I was like 21, you've always been like that, like, you know? And then I <clears throat> went to the studio a couple of weeks later and I wrote this and I remember I sang it into my phone and I sent it to you. And, and I do remember you saying, that's exactly how I was feeling. It, it was everything that I was feeling that day. I was floored by how you'd managed to take everything that I was feeling about myself and life and just put it in a verse. And it was, I don't know, I, I, it's the greatest privilege that from something, from a conversation so just honest between two friends, yeah. that you would create such a thing, it blows my mind. Well, if you listen to the song I wrote about you then. <laughs> Adele's original Carpool Karaoke from 2016 is one of the series' most successful installments, and she's just one of many A-listers who's taken the front seat with James. The duo may have let the tears flow one last time, but don't think they forgot to have fun, too. James and Adele had a good laugh when the Hello singer explained how she's not holding her breath about achieving EGOT status one day. I really don't think that that is ever going to happen. Um, I would never write a musical or anything like that because... you hate musicals? I hate musicals. <laughs> I don't think musicals. people know how much you hate musicals. But the thing, I just want to make it clear... No, I don't think I've ever said how much I hate. Well, like, you respect the art for Absolutely. I just don't need to hear everything in a song all the time. Like, you know? I also think the ego suits me better.